This information is provided for patient education purposes. UPMC has no commercial relationship with the software companies mentioned in this video, and UPMC does not endorse any particular software app. We are providing examples of apps that provide the desired functionality, which our patients may easily access and use. Hi. Given the current COVID crisis, your provider may have asked you to arrange a telemedicine visit. This video is to help you show how you can help your provider and help your child by testing your child's vision before that telemedicine visit. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Cardwell, one of the orthoptists working here at the Department of Ophthalmology. Normally myself or one of the techs checks the visual acuity in the clinic, um, but I'm going to show you how to download the app so that you can test the vision at home. We are going to show you two different applications based on your child's ability and age. Depending on the age and capabilities of your child, you can download the Snelling chart on the left for letters, or the tumbling each chart on the right if your child does not know his or her letters, but can identify what direction the letter E is facing. To download the app, go to the Google Play Store and in the search box type Snelling Chart or Tumbling E's. Then click on the logo to download. Once the app is open, press the Settings button top right of the screen. In Settings, fourth option down, change notation from decimal to fraction. Then change units of length from meter to foot. Then in the custom distance box, type 10. Lastly, enable the record scores option and press OK. Then to return back to the main menu, press the settings button on the top left of the screen. Finally, change 20 foot to 10 foot, then press done. For accurate measurement, please use a tape measure or app. If you do not have a tape measure, you can lay 12 pieces of paper end to end, which will equate to 10 feet. When testing your child's visual acuity, you want to be 10 feet back from the child and have your phone at eyesight level. When testing your child's vision at home with each eye separately, we need you to cover their eye with the palm of your hand, just like this. We don't want them to be able to peek, so if they're turning their head a little bit this way, they may be able to peek out with their eye, so we want to keep the head straight. We also don't want you to cover the eye with your fingers because they may be able to peek through. So again, just with the palm of your hand, covering the eye that is not being tested. If the child's old enough, they can cover their own eye. If your child wears glasses, you can include one eye with a folded tissue. You will start by testing both eyes open first. Once you're ready to begin, press the play button on the bottom left of the screen. If your child gives you the correct answer, swipe the screen to the right. If the child gives you an incorrect answer, swipe the screen to the left. The visual acuity test is complete for both eyes open once the score screen pops up. Please make a note of the VAS and fraction number. Do not press the save button for both eyes open. To test each eye individually, you press the top left arrow. Once you return to the main screen, reset the chart by pressing the plus button until it goes gray. After testing left eye first, enter your child's name in the score sheet, then press save. Make a note of the VAS. After testing the right eye, press the button to change the left eye to the right eye in the score sheet and press save. Make a note of the VAS. To recall the left eye and right eye values, press top right hand button, then press scores. For the Tumbling E software, setup and scoring remain the same as the Snellen. However, for a correct answer, swipe in the direction the E is facing. For an incorrect answer, swipe in any other direction. I hope this was informative. Thank you for listening.